song by TJ Klune. I mean, they're all by TJ Klune, aren't they? But we'll start. Book number one. So, it starts off slow. So, um, what is his name? Ox. It's signed. Um, <laughs> Wow, oh, okay, so Ox, we meet Ox, and I don't know, he feels weird, it feels like he's quite slow, like he's underdeveloped in some way, and I don't know, he, he, he just feels like a very off character. Um, he, he does progress a bit as the book goes on, but... I don't know, he's he's not the interesting, the most interesting character out there, but I, I mean, not all characters need to be interesting, do they? So we meet Ox and he's like, he's either slow or he's severely depressed. And there's no mention of depression at per se. Um, there is grief and all that, but not like depression in that way. But the grief is because uh, people die <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing at that but people die and so the the grief that goes with that makes a lot of sense so we come in it's Ox it's his 16th birthday um, Ox then eventually meets the Bennets um, the ship the ship this the shifters the, the wolves um, and that's his like introduction to that kind of world and I mean things happen years go by so on and so forth but Ox kind of turns into something and I don't I'm, I'm not sure how to explain it because I'm not sure it's actually explained in the book either but he's not really human but he's not really a wolf he's something in between um because he kind of he becomes an alpha of wolves and humans while technically still being human this is unheard of it's unheard of in the story and you know I, I don't think I've heard of any other stories with that kind of thing um so i mean it's interesting but still ox feels slow he doesn't it doesn't feel like he wants anything from life he's just there because there's no really reason there's no real reason for it he's just there need to fix my tea i mean that's ox i guess and then we have the Bennett. So I'll start with the Bennett's because then there's the humans and such, uh, which is as confusing, but still. So the Bennett's, there are several members of that family, and it took me the longest time to figure out the relationships between the different characters in the family, like who's who's. I, I know who the mum is, but who's the dad and who's the youngest, who's the oldest, who's who's this person? It took me the longest time to figure it out. And I don't know why. Is it not explained well? Maybe. I don't know. Clearly, it, it didn't go into my brain if it was explained, like, at all. And the same thing goes for um, the humans. Uh, from like the garage and stuff. I'm not sure who's who <laughs> and how many of them there are. It's like there's people there, but I'm not sure about them. So I'll say I, I sped through this book. I had intentions of like updating as I go along, but I kind of sped through it because even though it's a chunky boy, I mean, very stunning sped edition by the way, but. Even though it's a chunky chunky boy, I kind of sped through it because the writing is so easy. And definitely not because this is the greatest book out there. I do love these new covers though, so there's that. But I'm actually stumped. I don't know what I feel about this book. I'm intrigued, but also I'm not intrigued enough to, you know, go running after the other one. I will read the other one because I'm I'm about about to start it, but 
if I didn't have it, I don't think I would read it. If that makes sense. But I did, I did, I love these new covers, so I've been pre-ordering them as they come up. Um, so, <laughs> oh. So, for most of the book, it's, it's quite tame. It's, it's, I mean, it is what it is. It's not extraordinary in any way. But then comes very graphic and somewhat detailed sex scenes. <laughs> now, I don't mind sex scenes. I don't, I don't run after them, but I, I don't mind them too much. I just, they need to be part of the story for me to, like, accept them being there. Otherwise, I just prefer, you know, closed door kind of deal. I, I, all I really need to know is if they've done it or not, and then I'm good. <laughs> I don't need everything. I think possibly this was my first male-on-male -male sex. Possibly. I can't, I don't remember reading that before. I've had, I've read about couples. I've read about couples, but I don't think I've read man-on-man -man sex. So that was first. So, book two in the Green Creek saga series, quartet, what are those? All of those, I don't know. So, book two. Now, <laughs> it may have been a bit uh, presumptuous of me to think that book two would <laughs> sort of, you know, uh, take off from where book one left off. Um, and also sort of with the same character in the lead. Um, no, we have a new POV character. This time we're following Gordo, whereas in book one we were following Ox. <laughs> because we're now following a new character, um, we sort of go back to the beginning and also jump back and forth between like when Gordo was a kid and he met the Bennets and uh, when Gordo and Joe and brothers, I don't remember their names so bad, um, when they were away chasing the, what was his name again? The bad guy. <laughs> um, so, so we go like back and forth and also we kind of sort of pick up from where we left off in that plot line in book one. Um, but also, because we, like, the first good couple of chapters, uh, we're going, like, back and forth, back and forth, trying to get, like, some sort of, like, different side of what happened before, but also added more bonus, and you know what I mean. Um, when we do finally, you know, s start following the, like, main plot line, it feels like it's not where we left off. <laughs> it feels like it's not the main plot line. And also, it makes me think, what is the main plot line? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Honestly, this book mostly just left me confused about what is actually happening and like, who are we actually rooting for anymore? <laughs> well, I kinda know, but also, do we know? Plus points, easy to read, semi sort of organized. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but it feels like it's a completely different main plot to book one, which it shouldn't be because it's a series um, where we like, we're, we're following like the same good couple of main characters. So, uh, I mean, we see Ox from Gorda's point of view in this. In this book as it were so I'm thinking though um, that book three and four may have different POV characters now considering it switched in this one so we'll see I haven't checked it out because I, I don't want to know yet and like what I've said now it's not a spoiler you can still read the book it's just that I'm very very confused right now um, but 
easy read, kind of a good time. I'm not bored. I'm not like, I am confused about what's happening. That is true. But that may just also be me and where my head is at currently. But yeah, on to book three, on to book three. I should say though, cause it's not the confusion part about the main plot line. So I, I picked up book two just about straight after I finished book one. I did read another book in between, but it wasn't like enough to make me forget everything. So I blame the beginning of this book on that. So on to book three, because now I'm just confusing myself again. <laughs> anyway, book three. Let's talk book three, heart song. I was confused for most of this. <laughs> Well, not most of it, a lot of it. So, yes, we do follow a different character's POV, which is fine. Fine, okay, it's fine. No, it's fine. <laughs> we start off this chapter, this chapter, this book, semi sort of like the other ones, except we don't. No, not really. We do find out, so we follow Robbie, by the way. We do find out some of his, like, childhood things. So this is the reason I was confused, because I kind of sort of thought um, the beginning of the book was like the other. This is what happened in a different place, but at the same time, or just prior to, or rather, this is what happened just before Robbie got to Green Creek. No. Turns out it's been years now. It's been years since the other books. By the way, Ox is now 30. He turns 30 in this one, so it's a good couple of years <laughs> since the last ones. Uh, I, so, I, Robbie was taken and had his memory wiped. And I was like, when did this happen? I started to question myself. I was like, did I miss something in the end of book two? I mean, probably, but this seems like a thing that I should remember. But no. Yeah, so he was taken, had his memory wiped, and basically doesn't remember the Green Creek gang. One of which is his mate. Like, the love of his life. I mean, come on. Come on. Also, it kind of made me not stop thinking about the Hush Hush series by Becca Fitzpatrick, where in the third book, the main character uh, has been taken and had her memory wiped. Third book. Other than being majorly confused for a lot of it, it, it was it was okay. <laughs> it was easy read. It was it has a cute ending. And um, did we have a graphic sex scene? I think we had a semi sex scene, but we didn't have a graphic one, at least that I can remember. Well, obviously I can't remember if there was one or not. I don't know about this series as a whole. Honestly, I'm I'm expecting book four to come. Um, it's still July and it's set to publish on August 8th, no, nope, August 1st, so I still have some time to wait uh, until that comes, but as soon as that comes, I will pick it up. Um, I just got a head start with this video. <laughs> Happens. I'm, I'm gonna have to wait until I read book four, uh, which is called Brother Song? Um, I'm curious to see what character we follow in that one. Technically, that book is already published. It's just that in these covers. Yeah. Anyway, um, I'm gonna wait for that and we'll see. And then <laughs> after everything, I shall think about it and let you know what I think of the series. <laughs> so far, it's entertaining. It's not something to... Ah... Uh... Okay, we'll, we'll wait, we'll wait till the end, we'll, we'll wait till the end. Hmm. Okay. Fourth and last book. In this one, we follow Carter. Carter? Carter. <laughs> wow. How quickly I forget the names. 
Um, we follow Carter. Carter is one of the brothers of the, I want to say the original family, um, because it's grown since book one. Anyway, um, we follow Carter as he goes away from everyone, from his city, from his family, from his pack, from everything, to find the, well, I guess, mate, his mate, um, which he hasn't really understood is his mate yet, but, well, in the beginning of the book. He, he figures it out later, but he's slow to the uptake. Anyway, so, that's basically this book. Now, I wanna, I wanna talk about the whole series, because, so many things. I'm gonna put this book down because it's just chunky. You can you can look at Tom in the background instead. So this whole series, Green Creek. I was gonna I was like, does it have a name? So Wolf Song, let's see, Wolf Song, Raven Song, Heart Song, and Brother Song. Um Okay. So I kinda get that this series is supposed to be like this epic family thing, like coming together, finding your path, finding your mates, um, all, all of that. But I think they failed. <laughs> I think they failed in that sense, because all the books, the four books, they have kind of a, like, like, mm, they have something that goes through all of them, but it's very, it's weak, is what I'm trying to get at. It's weak. It's a very weak thread. And when, like, for the fourth book, you would figure that, you know, the bad guy, as it were, there was going to be, there was going to be this epic battle, like, end scene, roll credits kind of a thing, but it's so weak, it's like, poof, you're gone, that's it, and they all lived happily ever after. Well, we don't know that fact, but I, I think it's supposed to be implied. And the thing is, that all the four books, they... It's like they have their own plot, their own, like, whole, well, they have their own plot, but they have, it's like, it's four standalone books that just happens to be connected in some way, shape, or form. And it's way too long for that. Like, most of the things we see, we discover along the way throughout the series, it's well, useless. Well, not useless, but it's, it doesn't, it doesn't, it's not needed. It's not needed. So, yeah. I mean, if you want a very long, drawn out series about family and stuff and coming together and whatnot, yeah, sure. Uh, also, all of them have weird ass, very graphic gay sex scenes. Um, which, sure, if if that's what you're you're after, sure. I should point out that when I say gay, I mean man on man gay sex, um, and not. There's no females, because uh, so basically all the characters are mostly, well, all the characters are gay. There's like, I don't know, three people that are not gay. <laughs> and they're kind of, I don't know, fluid, I don't know. It's, I mean, there's nothing wrong with having everyone be gay, but also, it, I don't know, it makes it so unrealistic in a way. 
<sighs> I don't know. Yeah, so I'm, I'm going to say this series was kind of bad. Maybe if all the four books were one book and may hadn't haven't made more sense. Because here's the thing as well, the characters, like all the characters, are they feel like they're slow, like they're underdeveloped. So how does it all work? So these people are supposed to be like powerful and charge and whatnot. Well, most of them, a lot of them. And then they're like, it's they're so well underdeveloped in the brains, <laughs> not as characters per se, but their development, their mental development is not there. I don't know. Well, at least these covers are pretty. I'll give them that. But but yeah, what a waste. What a waste. But now I've done it. I don't get the epicness of them though. So I've heard, so before I even like picked them up, I'd heard they were this like epic series. And that's the reason I, I pre-ordered all the, these fancy covers. Because I was like, oh, epicness, yes, I want these fancy covers because I didn't really like the other ones. The, the other ones were kind of boring and these are nice and colourful. Although, I will say, <laughs> with these wolves, especially this one, it looks, um, it, look, it looks a little wrong, like, shape-wise, but that's a different thing. It's art. It's, it's art. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Thank you for watching. If you made it this far, tell me the epicness of it, if you know. Because I don't know. I don't get it. It was just drawn out for me. Much like this video. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. I shall see you all next time. If you... If you wanna... Well, yeah, take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>